Here is a tichel tying video for those of us who are complete beginners or for those of us that want to brush up on some basics of tichel tying. I made a video like this with music quite, it was basically my first video that I made called Beautiful Basics, but I realized that I should do some verbal instructions because for those of us that have never tied tichels before, having a beautiful video with beautiful music might not cut it. So. I'm going to show you a variety of tichels with a variety of styles, and these are all square tichels. They are quite large. Make sure you buy something large enough to fit all the way around your head. And all of them are tied into triangles. So take your square scarf, and the first step is to always tie it into a triangle. I've done that with the tichel on my head right now. So I'm going to take this off. I'm wearing underneath a velvet headband, which keeps things from slipping. And I'm also wearing a cap and or a volumizer. I usually don't wear a cap um, normally because I don't need to, but since I'm making a video, I want to keep my hair covered. For those of us who want to have more hair or more volume, you can also buy a volumizer, which is basically like a cap, but has a big kind of pillow thing in the back. You can also make your own volumizer by buying a cap and either sticking a sock or a loofah in the back. So. Here's my first tichel. It is a satiny, but it's not made of satin material. I fold it in, into a triangle, place it so it comes nicely in, in your forehead. And the first tie I'm going to show you is just a basic tie. You take the middle end of the triangle back here, fold it over your head to make it easier, and take the two ends and tie a knot. Right back here, see? Now you can tie a double knot for extra security. So this is the first tie. Super, super easy. And you can take the ends and put it over your shoulder, tie a little clip in here. And it's super easy and super formal, especially when you have a nice tichel like the one I'm wearing right now. Now keep in mind that where you put your hair or the bun that you have in the back of your head is going to change the style. So if my bun was on the top of my head, I would have a lump here. Since my bun is kind of in the middle of my head, I have a lump in the middle of my head. And if I were to have a low bun, you'd have it on the bottom of your head. So it just totally depends on your preference, but be aware that that is going to affect your look. So that is the basic. Remember that you can do a double knot for extra security, but I'm not doing it because I'm going to untie it. <clears throat> the second look. We're going to start some more tucked in looks because those had all the ends hanging. So this is my second scarf. It's much more casual. Scarf that I got in Israel. Also folded into a triangle. Make sure it hits in the right part of your forehead. So this look, what you do is you take the two ends and instead of tying them underneath, like in the first look, you tie them over the middle end. So you take it, as you can see, and tie it like that. Now what you do is you take the middle end and pull it down, like so, to give it some extra tightness. Take these two ends and tie it again. This is a scarf style that's commonly worn in Israel. So now you have a nice look that's a little more tucked in than the first one. The second variation of this is taking these ends and tying them underneath, like in the first style. So tie them underneath. Tie it once loosely. Now tie it once loosely. Now what you do is you take the middle end and you're going to stick it underneath. You're going to tuck it in, like so. Take the middle end, tuck it in, nice and secure. Take these two ends, tie it, and then you're going to tie it once again. And now you have a more tucked in look with just these two ends hanging. So that's another basic style. Sorry, my cat keeps running around. She's crazy today. So take this one off. Again, this is a more casual scarf. It's made of cotton with little sparkles going through. The third style I'm going to show you is more of a bun style. Now this is a silk scarf. So 
also, if you wear it without the velvet headband, it might be more prone to slipping. I would wear it, if you don't have a velvet headband, I would wear it with um, maybe a cotton scarf underneath. Or maybe you have hair that is not slippery. I do have thin hair, so um, it is quite slippery. So, you take this, same thing, triangle. Take the two ends and tie them. Same thing as before. Once. Now what you do is you take the first end, the middle end, and tuck it in. Tie it again. Now this is a trick that I came up with to give it extra volume. You take this end, depending on how you tie your knot, this is going to be the end that kind of sticks out a bit higher. If I were to put in, basically you're going to tuck in the end. If I were to tuck in this end, I would be undoing my knot. So if I tuck in this end, I'm basically adding an extra little loop to the knot. So you tuck in that end. I showed this in a video, but I realized that it's not clear. So you tuck in that end. So now you've got everything all in there. You take this end, fold the ends in so you have a nice, you know, colorful sash thing. And then what you do is you wrap it around the bun, like so. And then you take that end and you tuck that in as well. Again, depending on the material, it might be a little more complicated, a little more slippery. Cotton would be much more easy than the silk that I'm using now, but silk is beautiful. So here you go, take a look. That is your basic bun. I'm going to show you another bun that is a little fancier, but it might be a little more difficult to do with a silk scarf. So, have a very sparkly tichel right here, fold it into a triangle as well. You do the same thing as in the beginning. Tie the two outer ends around. Remember, tie, do the first tie quite loosely because you're going to be tucking in this middle end. So take this middle end, tuck that in, and tie this a little tighter. There we go. So then you're going to take the first end and twist it. Now, you're going to do the same to the other end. What I do in order to hold this end is either I stick it underneath my armpit or in my mouth um, just to keep it secure. So I'm going to stick it underneath my armpit now. Do the same thing to the other end. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. And now you have two ends that are twisted. What you're going to do is you're going to bring it around the top of the bun and make a knot. See? Now what you're going to do with these ends is you're going to twist them in so you create kind of a little twist around your bun. Keep twisting until you're at the end of your rope. And then when you're at the end, either tuck that in end into the whole bun if your scarf is long, or this scarf is not that long, so I just tuck it underneath like so. Let me see, does that look okay? Okay, there you have it, another bun style. So these are the looks that you should master first before you go on to anything more advanced. They are so versatile. Um, you just use one scarf, but if you add a headband or a clip or anything like that, they can go miles and they can be very, very fancy. So hope you enjoy, and these are the basic ties that you should learn first. Bye-bye.